we're looking at fire and light as it was in the time of Christ. Now, the same word was used, lampos, which could mean a um, small lamp that had an oil reservoir from which there was a wick and there would be a small flame used indoors. Outdoors, they would use this bad boy. This is torch. Lampos actually means torch. A torch would look like this, stick about this long, wrapped in a, a gauze type membrane on the end. And the idea wasn't to burn the gauze, it was to have something to soak the fuel that could then be used to uh, burn and produce uh, fire and light. Um, so what we've done is we've soaked this gauze in what they would have most naturally, which would be olive oil. The olive oil they used was an efficient burning. It has something like 99% efficient. So when they lit something like this, a 15 minute burn per um, a torch soaking. And when they say trim their torches or trim their lamps, this is what they were talking to, soaked uh, and then lit. And the idea is to burn the fuel, as we say, not so much the material that it's on. There we go. So they would have a torch like this. And this torch, if it was made to spec, would burn for about 15 minutes, at which time I would need uh, to re-soak it and light it again. Now, you can see the flame burning off the olive oil and small amount of gasoline in the mix. Now, uh, there's something else I'd like to show you here. Oh, uh, one is, <laughs> Proving this is why even in a wind, you're not going to put out a torch. It's not gonna happen. So the bridesmaids carrying their torches, of course, it would be like this. And that's a fair amount of light. I mean, even though it's not dark, you can see the light. But I have my pot of water here. Let me put this out. Now, if you look at this, this is what I'm getting at very little of the gauze is burnt. It's scorched, of course, because of the fuel. Very little of the actual gauze is burnt. That's the idea with an ancient torch, not to burn your material, but to burn the fuel in which it is soaked. 15 minutes, and uh, uh, by that time, you better be soaking it again, or you'll end up just ruining your torch. So that's how it worked. And of course, where oil is a um, symbol of the Holy Spirit in the Bible. When you read about torches in the Bible, well, you can probably for yourself uh, see how that uh, might cross over in its uh, symbolism. But for now, just seeing how a torch works, see very little burn of the material, big flame all from the fuel. Ancient torch.